Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a game that you've definitely seen before, and a game that I've definitely played before, but it has been a very long time. This is Bloons TD6. If you're not familiar with the Bloons franchise, then I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to get familiar as you watch, okay? Basically just a tower defense game, but monkey brain, right? Like I said, I played this game. It's been a long time. I was never the best at it, but I was always a little bit, you know, I was decent. Let's pick a, maybe a harder map. I never really got into these. I have them all... Oops, whoa. I was going to say, I have them all unlocked, but I never really... <laughs> Never really tried them. Maybe like an advanced one. What have we got here? Oh, see, I've never even played an intermediate. I just was like, I'm going to fill up all the little ones. Um, how about Quiet Street? How does Quiet Street work? Let's do easy Quiet Street and see if we can if we can make it work on an intermediate map. Again, if you've never seen this before, you're just going to figure it out. So how does this go... I want to follow, I want to know how this goes before I plant it, but I am going to go ahead and, oh, I see, we can only go on the outskirts and in here. Um, so I guess our best bet right now for the most coverage is about yonder, but, oh, he's also going to be, okay. I think I kind of understand what's going to happen here. Let's also do one of these. Oh, but can we not see behind yes. here? That's a little tricky. So if we can't see behind here, then we're not going to get much out of this bottom path, but I'm going to let this kind of run in the background and see if we can make something happen here. What do we want? Can I see the information? Oh, that's got one. Great. I want to see... I, I, like, I know what we have here. What I was going to say is I don't think Juggernaut's going to do much for us if we're right behind that tree. So let's maybe go for, like, a sharpshooter in this case. Now we can see camo, especially. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up because you have to to not lose your mind. Um, basically, you know, the red balloons are super weak, and then you get stronger and stronger, and you get more upgrades, and you get all these different monkeys, and it's pretty awesome, honestly. I haven't played since this beast handler was in the game. I don't even know how to unlock him. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and figure it out, I guess. Kind of struggling a little bit there. Let's get, I guess, sharp shots. Probably quick shots would have been better, because we're gonna be going for the sharpshooter, and I think he would get, you know, more frequent crits. Frequent crits. Wow, that was pathetic. But, you know, I want to go for this guy. And what this guy is going to do, we're always, I believe it's bottom path. Yeah, Prince of Darkness, one of my favorite towers from what I remember. This guy's going to do some good stuff for us. I'm going to go immediately for that. And I think Arcane Blast, maybe. We don't have that top path. Sometimes I do wish you could even speed it up a little bit more. I know there's mods for it, but um, when it's early on, then again, you know, I, w I, w I say this is slow, but once we get going, I would definitely forget and just screw myself because of that. So we're going to go ahead and do... We're going to go ahead and do that, and then next we'll probably get Monkey Sense because I want to get this guy built up. Obviously, this right here is our hero. He builds himself up over time. We could unlock upgrades, but it's not necessarily worth it. You, you, you really shouldn't run into that problem, assuming you're doing what you're supposed to be. Uh, we want to get next here. Because of the way that this works, see, this is tricky. You gotta kind of work around this pathing path here. One that might be good is if we did, like, this guy and put him on a circular pattern here. That might be decent, but he's gonna be a little expensive to afford. Like, see, we might want to get a crossbow. Three layers of bloom for every hit. Let's get the crossbow, and then maybe we work towards this guy right here. Because this monkey ace will do a, a big fly, you know what I'm saying? It'll do a big fly in the circle. I don't know if we can get the circle position right here, but it'll be, you know, middle of the map. So I think he'll be pretty good in terms of the coverage we're looking for here. So let's just kind of, you know, let's go and see. Obviously, easy mode. We have to get through 40 rounds and things are slightly cheaper. I'm going to go, you know, further to whatever's reasonable. Once, you know, I'm not going to sit here for like three hours playing this, but, you know, we'll see what we can do in one little bit here. Okay, sweet. So we're going to be able to get this now. I don't know where I want to place it, that it'll be, like, out of the way. I guess, like, right here. And then if we do... Okay, we can reverse him, circle, figure... Okay, so the circle is based on... What do we have for upgrades? I could have swore you could get this guy in the middle. Centered path. Yeah, we want to get that. 
which we can get. There we go. That's what we wanted. And we can do the center right here. Fantastic. I knew that would happen. So, and then I think it'd be just rapid fire and lots more darts. And then that guy's going to start cooking for us. Now, we need to pay attention to weaknesses because we didn't get the fire on this. So, I think we're going to struggle with lead balloons. And obviously, you see there we're struggling with the magic ones as well. Because, you know, reasons. So, for leads and ceramics, I well, lead specifically, I think we could get like a ring of fire with this one right here. I don't know what would be a good place to place this guy. You know, because we want to get... Let's, let's do this. How do we get to Ring of Fire here? It's the top path. So let's go ahead and try for that right now. Even Hot Shots is going to be good enough. I'm going to I'm gonna cross it with the bottom path there. I'm not sure which of these guys can actually hit. You know, like, I feel like someone's popping the leads. Maybe Obin over here can pop the leads. He was always one of my favorites. I don't think he's necessarily the best in any regard, but I just, I always like this guy. Never miss targeting. What do we want to go for here? Dart Storm is good. I think it's maybe top path for the Dart Storm. Obviously, that's expensive, but it will be you know, putting in like bits for us eventually. So, have you guys um, had much experience with this game in the past? I know pretty much everyone and their mothers played it, so that's kind of a stupid thing to say. Like, I, I'm well aware. But, you know, maybe there's some people who have only watched it or anything like that. So, yeah, if you've played this, here, here's a good question Wait, What's your favorite tower? I already told you mine. I'm pretty certain. God, I'm losing my mouse here. Pretty certain my favorite tower is going to be the bottom path monkey here. The wizard monkey. I've always loved the wizard monkey ever since I used to play the older ones back when I was a kid. I'm talking like, like balloons one and two on, you know, when you're not supposed to be doing it in school type thing. That's, that was my favorite. We got that dart storm. What do we want to shoot for next? Sharpshooter is pretty good. I don't think we're going to get crossbow master. I know this is a pretty cheap tier five, but I'm not... I don't know. Let's go ahead and get the Necromancer Unpopped Army, the one that I was talking about loving. You might as well get it right. I'm going to try to keep activating my abilities here while we're doing this. Oh, it's almost over, by the way. I don't know why I thought this would be difficult. We're kind of crushing this. I'm, like, working, trying to think ahead and do all these other things. So we're going to go, you know, quite a bit further than this. It's only been seven minutes, and we're already through this. Okay. Obviously, the easy mode is kind of cheap to get high round on because things are... Uh, you know, they're cheaper and all that. I think maybe the rounds are less intense, but it's it's kind of cheap. But let's let's keep on going. Free play, please. Okay, we do have to start it again when we're in free play. So I believe free play gets pretty exponentially harder from here. I actually, not necessarily, maybe until after round 100, because I know there are rounds that are planned out after this, given like medium and hard mode and even chimps, I think it goes up to 100, so it probably gets exponential after round 100. So these are basically, I think, still rounds that would exist in the normal game. We're not getting any of that, like, hullabaloo that's just there to make you lose on purpose, you know? I keep losing my mouse in this. It's always this guy that makes me lose my mouse, because he's just doing too much. I'm waiting for tier fives on all of these guys, so what else would help us out here? Um try to think of some other ones that I like. It's always good to get, like, one of these two, the glue gun or the ice monkey. Didn't mean to bring that up because, you know, they just put in a lot of work for you. How does visibility look on a sniper? I'm curious. If we put him, like, right here, that's a decent bit of the map, you know? So I'm kind of thinking about that. And what I like to go for the sniper, I always like to go full auto. Um, you know, they all have their merits, but this is the one that excites me the most so i'd usually go for you know shrapnel shot to full auto that's just how i roll with this guy the most frequently and we actually got him all the way up to where i wanted him because we had plenty of money there which was awesome okay because as we're getting our money built up here i'm thinking maybe like obviously you want to get a super monkey right that's kind of and that's like <laughs> I feel like getting the Super Monkey is the same thing as only putting damaging moves on your Pokemon when you're a kid. Because it's like, oh, I need the Super Monkey, he's the big cool one, and then in real like all reality, he he is super good, but it's like so much money to invest, and you could probably get another monkey that does so much better than a Super Monkey. I don't know. I think I want to get one just because that would make me happy. Isn't that really all that matters? Let's go ahead. I do also really like the ninja. Like, these around here are some of my favorites. Let's go ahead and grab a super monkey. We gotta decide where we want to put it. Maybe over here to help out, help out Obin. 
And how do we want to go for tears on the Super Monkey? I'm going to stop the game again every single time. Sun Temple. I actually haven't... Oh, I, oh, I can't unlock... I haven't unlocked this one yet because it's super expensive. And like I said, I didn't use this guy that much because it just kind of was like, eh. Too good. Why reason, you know? Maybe... Maybe we'll go up to here and then Sun Temple because we don't need too much range. Because I mean, it'll get us to like over here and there. Let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to be able to afford the Sun Avatar. We could go Dark Knight already, but I don't necessarily think that's our goal. He would be able to move around, which would be nice if we were trying to like micro. But, you know, it's easy mode. <laughs> I'm not really... I'm not trying to go for super high round. I'm honestly just curious to see how far we could go. Because like I said, it's my first time playing in a while. Maybe back around here, we build up some stacks of these. I like to go for spike mines in regards to this one. And here, once we can afford that, what else will we pick? Probably... <laughs> probably just even faster production in that regard. Because I, you know, in theory, this, this is the further spot, right? Oops. Oh, we can get rid of those cars. Interesting. So, in theory, because they're going to probably struggle a little, little bit more getting to these guys, I feel like this is the further point, right? Because they might get easier. You know, they'll have an easier time going around here than they would through here. So, let's just go ahead and do that. I, I'm not going to explain it. I already placed it. I'm not going to go through the trouble of selling it. So, that's just what you get to deal with. Um, What are some other things that I could show off for people who maybe don't know? I do really like this guy, the helipad. Because he can, so he follows your mouse, right? But what I always do because I'm lazy, and like I said, I'm not about that micro life, is I make him do pursuit. And I think in this case, we're just going to do faster firing into Apache Dart Ship. So let's do that. Obviously, we can't afford the Apache Dart Ship, but he just follows the closest one. So as they come through, like if these people get closer, you know, he's split between these two rows, which isn't great for him. But, like, if this side starts to creep closer, then he'll go over here. And, it, it, you know, he kind of follows where the flow is. Which, you know, I mean, either way, anything is good. I don't think we're struggling too badly here. I gotta see... Keep in mind, like, if we could get a Prince of Darkness, that would really put us ahead. So, it might not be worth it to keep splitting our money between the monkeys. Maybe we should finally settle on something. But I'm still not entirely sure what would be good to settle on. Like, we can get Elite Defender. That's a pretty cheap one, too, for 12k. That's actually... Was that even cheaper than the Crossbow Master? That's crazy. Because I do remember really liking the Elite Defender. We could get that pretty shortly here. We'll pop these trees up once again. Because if you don't know, these trees, like, suck in a bunch of the balloons. And then when they get full, they spit out a bunch of money. It is awesome. Here I could get Water Monkeys if I wanted to. Which would actually probably be kind of good. Because you can do something with this sonar guy where you get his advanced intel and it lets him target places that they can't see. And I wonder if it would skip over this weakness we have right here, right? Because he can't see right here, but if this guy could when he's down here. I don't know. I don't know how it works with obstructions. I just know that it's good for, like, a sniper maybe who can't reach something. I don't know. I'm just being goofy. I'm just trying to think thoughts, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to prop this again because I want that to empty out all of it. I'm pretty sure if I were to do this when that hasn't gone away yet, it would waste my bananas. So, but the thing is, the guys aren't even getting that far. We're coming up around 69, which is just super fantastic. I think I'm going to put right here. Well, I don't know what's a good... I want to put a recursive cluster guy here where he will spray just a bunch of bombs out. But I'm not sure if I have a good enough spot for him. Maybe like... Not getting very far on either side, really. But maybe maybe we put them right here. What I'm thinking is, yeah, cluster bombs down here. So probably like increased range. We'll, we'll, okay, we'll go up to down four, and we can still afford our elite defender, which is our first tier five. Obviously, it's super cheap, so it's not going to be as good as the other ones, but still, it's good to have. Oh, and then our thing popped there. So I guess it did when I used that. It popped out all the money that we had in there. So it's not like we wasted the money. I'm thinking, you guys, you know, while I've got this thought in my head, I've been trying to... Obviously, I'm playing Blooms right now because it was something I saw I haven't played in a long time. And, you know, I do kind of miss it. But I've been trying to think of what games you guys would be interested in seeing. There are obviously a billion and one different roguelikes to play. I do plan on... I've been getting into Gunfire Reborn. Someone recommended that one. I plan on playing that at some point on the channel. But I want to get better at it before I play it. 
because you know I'm decent, but I feel like that game has a pretty decent like difficulty curve in terms of getting through. I don't know. It feels like I get so far, maybe like to the, the third area, the fourth area, almost to the end, and then you die, and it's just like I just wasted so much time. And yes, I understand that's roguelikes, but for whatever reason, when like the first person and the I don't know, you can kind of like see how much space you've covered. I, I don't know. It just my brain doesn't think of it the same way. It no like. We're almost able to afford the Prince of Darkness, by the way, guys. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Any games that you'd be curious and see me play. Anything that, you know, some, like hidden gem type things I'm really interested in lately. Like smaller experiences that maybe I wouldn't have played otherwise. We're going to get this Prince of Darkness and you guys are going to get to see how awesome it is. <laughs> I think we can actually change where it starts on the track. Which is nice. Yeah, you can see they're coming out of here and they're just rushing this side. They're destroying this side. Which is great. We're all the way to round 80, by the way, which I believe would be the end of hard mode. Yeah. Here's the ZOMG, which would... Can I move this, actually? I don't want it there. Let's start spawning them over. Actually, well, I guess let's spawn them as far away as we can get them on this side to give them a little bit of help right now. Obviously, they're going to be going this direction. Oh, but they do kind of come back around, it looks like. Interesting. Interesting. I still haven't really mastered how the flow of this level works because we never had that many balloons creep through. Like, yeah, see, we haven't taken any damage beyond our shield, and even if we did take shield damage, I wasn't paying attention, so I did not notice. Okay, what can we afford? We can almost get the Crossbow Master. I'm not too worried about that. Maybe Sun Avatar would be our next good one. Because we do seem to be getting a lot. I think it's like the even rounds pop up on this side, maybe, so we get a lot for whatever reason, of harder things down the bottom path. But then again, we do have a decent team down there handling it. I'm not too worried about their capabilities. Yeah, see, we get a lot more on the bottom path, which is fine, because these people can generally reach it. Obviously, except for him, but he's he's whatever. Maybe, okay, so maybe we do this. Let's go ahead and remove this. Let's put our sonar thing down here. Okay, so that's the issue. This guy actually can't see down here, but can he at any point see up there? If we were to do, like... I don't know, this might be a waste of time. Because this lets them see... Yeah, I think I'm going to sell this guy, actually. Because it's letting them see basically nothing that they can't already. Probably waste a little bit of money, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Let's go ahead and put this guy right here. And I want to lock him to right there so he's constantly shooting down this path i want to give him i want to get to the laser one for sure Ooh, hydro rocket pods is good too let's go ahead we don't need faster swivel because i don't plan on macroing him but let's go ahead and do maybe this this that that and now this and that the mad is super good worth fifty one thousand. absolutely that is a super good tier five and we can do these hydro rocket pods ability down here we can also do the emergency button that'll make him follow. Like if we, it's like, oh crap, we gotta hit that button. It'll go into this setting and change him to normal for us um, on the fly, just in case we don't have time to do that. But yeah, you guys, like you can see it's, <laughs> for whatever reason, it might be the case. If you know more than I do, which I'm sure you will, let me know. It might be the case that the bottom path is the even rounds and then the top path is the odd ones. And it just happens to be that the even ones are harder. But I have noticed for sure, like, I'm glad I put this guy down here because we're getting a lot more difficulty on this round. Okay, now I want to get a ninja just because we're just kind of goofing around now and I just... <laughs> I think the ninjas are fun. So what can we do with the ninja? I kind of want to do, like, a balloon jitsu ninja. I think they're expensive and maybe not that worth it, but I, I just want to do it anyways. Um, and maybe some... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do down to Caltrops and we'll do up to right there, balloon jitsu. See, I'm, like, getting a lot of these decently expensive middle tiers, which means I'm not going to get many tier 5s, and that's okay. Because, like, you know, we could lose on level 100. Yeah, level 100, and we wouldn't even... It wouldn't matter, so... Whatever. <laughs> I keep getting scared by these zombie ones thinking that I'm losing or something because out of the corner of my eye, they look pretty similar to the ZOMGs. Just the color scheme, obviously. Like, it, if you're actually looking at them, it's not really an issue. But just, I, I catch it sometimes, and it scares me. Like syphilis. Okay. Let's upgrade our ship here. 
or plane. Sorry, my bad. Didn't mean to. Yeah, to do that. Honestly, guys, I think I'm good with what we have. Maybe we focus on getting some tier fives now. See if we can live long. I'm gonna see if we can live long enough to get money to get a tier five. And if that's the case, you know, because this is gonna be a lot of the same. By the way, like you could, what you're seeing now is what you get for the next little bit here. So I'm gonna see what we can do. If we seems like we're about to die, I'll pause it really quick and come back. But yeah, I'm just curious, honestly, how much money we can make. Okay, we are currently no dipping the DDTs, which is fantastic. Just felt the need to say that because I forgot how scary rounds like 95 up to 100. I think 98 or something is another bad DDT round. I don't know. This might be getting scary. So hold on just a second here. Maybe if we could save up for the mad, that'd be super good. But again, we got to make it that far for that to matter. And I cannot promise we will. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold on. We... Okay, we took some heat there. Hold on. I gotta find my mouse and slow this down because we just took a lot of heat. Where's my mouse? <laughs> this is a problem that other people have. I need a mod that makes my mouse, like, bright blue because every time I, I like, I have to constantly be looking at it or I lose it. I've always struggled with that in this game. We did make it to round 100. We lost 75 health there because we lost our shield plus 50. Obviously, our shield will come back. So, either way, we're going to have 175 health from here on out. Let's kind of slow it down. If we can take out the bad, I think I'd be pretty happy with that in terms of progress. So, let's just, you know, let's try and take out the bad. I don't think we're going to get too much money for any crazy upgrades anytime soon. We're not getting 100k. I guess we could get the crossbow master, but that'll be after this guy's popped anyway. So, yeah, I'm pretty, you know, this will be... Let's take this guy out. If we have to try a couple times, then that's not, you know, whatever. Let's speed it up taking a long time i think this guy actually popped some ddts out which is a little scary if you weren't aware ddts are the super quick um they're like lead ceramic super fast yeah those those oh i should have, so i think hold on we're gonna try this one more time i think if i hit the eject button there might be something we can do so let, let me go ahead and think about this see if there's anything we can afford that'll get us through this Okay, I don't know why my brain did it this way, but I honestly really just want to get a bunch of ice monkeys and see if we can't slow him down as much as possible. If we've got it in these three points, I think there might be at least a few different times that we can get contact. How much was that? Can we get another one even? We don't need to get to Snowstorm, but if we can get even to Arctic Wind on another one, like maybe right... See, are we still in range of the Super Monkey right here? Yeah, so maybe... Maybe like right here. Let's see if we can do that. And I might not be doing the best cross path for this guy. I'm not sure if Cold Snap... Oh, can freeze and pop letting camo balloons. That's true. Cold Snap probably would have been better because it lets us freeze those DDTs. But I think if we can stop oh. the bad before the DDTs become a problem, you know, maybe then. I could also be cheap and try and use something like this, but I'm not going to do that right now. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Hold on. Come on. Follow my cursor here. We're going to try again with our abilities. Keep in mind, now we have three of these super slowdowns. Let's use one right now. Oh, our Prince of Darkness, I feel like all of his stuff gets blown, like, right away, where he can't really do much. <laughs> Slow this guy down as much as possible. Those DDTs are going to come out, guys. I think it still might be too late. I'll save the Hydro Rocket Pods for after the DDTs come out. We're slowing this guy down. I think it's too late, for sure. Um, can we move this right here? Oh. Oh. It didn't matter. I don't think it mattered. I mean, okay, so we beat easy mode, right? We did what we had to do. Blur's leak. Yeah, we took way too much damage. But, you know, th that is how it be. So if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like, um, leave a comment. Like I said, about what games you'd like to see me play. If you've ever played this game before, if you've ever played any of the older ones, or heck, if you even played it before it was a tower defense game, if you played the stupid, gosh, the Flash Balloons game where you just click and throw the dart, that one was wild. But, like I said, you guys, leave a comment on any of those things, subscribe, ring the notification bell, because it's greatly appreciated, it helps out a ton, any support that you guys can give in that regards. Also, I have got my Instagram, Twitch, and Discord in the description down below, so if you'd like to join my community or follow me on any of those to get any sort of updates, that's also greatly appreciated. Bye-bye.